Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to go over the basics of border radius. Okay, so I have a web page set up. You can see with a couple of boxes right here. And let me jump over to my markup. And I want to apply some curved corners, border radius, to this first box. And it's going to be pretty easy. I'll go ahead and put in border radius and then I can put in some value. Now if I start off with something like 20 pixels, that's going to apply the same border radius to all four corners. So if I head over here and refresh, we can see there's a nice curved corner to all four corners. But we can go a little bit further with that, and I'm going to put in four units of measurement. So I'll put in 20, 40, 60, and 80 pixels. Control S to save, browser refresh, and now that we have those different values, we can see that when we use four units of measurement, it's going to start in the top left corner, top left, top right, bottom right, bottom left. So you can be pretty customized with those border radii. Now, just so you can visualize how this is actually working, I'm going to take this same border radius and I'm going to apply it to box number two. So now that we can see box number two has the same. And then I'm going to turn on some circles that I made a little bit earlier um, before starting the video. So we can kind of visualize what's going on here. So you can see that the border radius kind of hugs the corners or the curves of these uh, various disks. And you'll see I've got 20, 40, 60, and 80. Now those numbers, 20, 40, 60, and 80, are the, radia, the radius of those individual circles. So a circle up here in the top right, which reads 40. Remember, this corner has a border radius of 40 pixels. The radius of this circle is going to be 40. However, to create the circle, it's really um, 80 pixels. Same thing down here. This circle is actually made of a box that's 120 by 120. And this bigger with an 80 radius is 160 by 160. So it's certainly a lot clearer to see how border radius is getting that particular curve. Now let's try this in another example. I'm going to go to circle number three. Actually, I'll do it right up here. Or box three. I'm going to get rid of the visibility hidden. And let's turn this one on. Now this one looks a little bit unusual. You can see that, especially if you look at the top right and the bottom left, the border radius is pretty unusual. It's not based on a circle anymore. Instead, it's based on an oval shape. So 60, 20, basically it's got a radius going horizontally of 60 pixels, which means it's 120 wide. And it's got a radius of 20 going vertically, which means it's 40 tall. So instead of a circle being based off of perfect square, now we have ovals based off of um, a rectangle. So let's look at the markup for that one in, in particular. So if I look at box number three, I can see it has this weird border radius. You can kind of ignore that zero pixels for a moment. If I didn't have that, we'd have the same oval pattern for all four corners. But you can see I can separate some values with a slash, which means that the oval is going to be 60 pixels wide. I'm sorry, uh, it's going to have um, a radius of 60 pixels going horizontal and a radius 20 pixels going vertical. And if I'm looking to say, well, how do you create that particular oval? Well, it's just going to be a, you know, a rectangle. So that's going to be one of my circles down here, circle six, width of 120 or a border radius of 60, and a height of 40 or a border radius of uh, 20. Okay. So that's what's going on with those particular shapes. Now, you can do much more complicated things here. Now, I threw in, we could, so for instance, we could throw in, let's say, 20 pixels. And we put a nice gentle curve on the top left and the bottom right. But then we have our oval radius for the top right and the bottom left. And you can even do more complicated things where you have different ra uh, radius for each individual corner, depending on the kind of look you're going for. So that's a little bit with border radius. But the key is, when you're working on that, simply use the border radius property and kind of decide which values you want to use. It might be unusual to use so many different values, but you might be okay with just using something like 40 pixels, 80 pixels. If you wanted to have, I'm looking at the middle one here, if you want to have top left and 
bottom right versus top right and bottom left to be somewhat balanced. Or you can just go with a very standard set the border radius to the same for all four corners and you'll kind of create a nice look, more pleasing look. So there you go. And that is border radius.